Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Hello friends, I am back with a new video and this video is going to talk about TS of monocot leaf. One of the most important topic that comes in your exam. When we talk about monocot leaf, first we need to understand the various zones that we are going to study. First there is something called as upper epidermis. Second what we have is the mesophyll cells. Third, we have the vascular tissue or we can say vascular system and the fourth one that we have is the lower epidermis. Now whenever we talk about the monocot leaf, we need to understand that it has the outermost covering called as cuticle. What is cuticle basically? We can say it's a waxy covering, the waxy coat that protects the leaf from transpiration. Below this, somewhere on the upper epidermis only we will find stomata. Stomata is present on the both surface of the leaf in case of monocot leaf and then we have the epidermis or it is also called as upper epidermis and this upper epidermis basically has the stomata present but in monocot we need to understand it is present on the both surface of the epidermis. We have the specialized cells called as bulliform cells Bulliform cells are basically large bubble shaped epidermal cells that occur in a groups on the upper surface of many monocots. These cells are present on the upper surface of the leaf only and these bulliform cells what they do? They minimize the water loss during the unfavorable or stress condition. We have this chamber called as substomatal chamber. And the role of the substomatal chamber is accumulation of the water that will be released through stomata. The mesophyll cells that we have is the spongy tissue. And when we talk about spongy tissue, we need to understand that they are very small cells. They have intercellular space present between them. And what we need to understand? The spongy tissues are only present in monocot. They don't have palisade mesophylls. And this is what we have is the xylem, the vascular bundle of the monocot leaf. Then we have the phloem. Xylem and phloem together makes the vascular bundle. And when we talk about the vascular bundle, we need to understand that in the monocot leaf, it is conjoint collateral. They are close to each other. And it is closed. When we say closed, it means there is no cambium present as such. This is the lower epidermis of the monocot leaf and the lower epidermis also has a covering that is waxicoat cuticle and it also shows the presence of stomata and the stomatal opening. Hope friends we have understood the monocot leaf in a very simple way. These are the xylems. Do give a like to this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Till then, thank you very much.